What's up, Bama Nation? It's yours truly, Stephen Smith of Touchdown Alabama Magazine. And I'm just coming on here to give you my final thoughts on what Bama has to do to bounce back against South Carolina. But not just that, to bounce back, have a, a phenomenal regular season where it can run the table, get to the college football playoff, potentially be one of the top four seeds with a bye week with an early an early bye or at least host a college football playoff game inside of Bryant Denny Stadium on Nick Sa- on a Saban Field and push toward the opportunity to get to the national championship. And uh, you know for me number one defensively they've got to clean this up. And if Kane Womack is any type of defensive coordinator get up and go and and backbone and physicality and toughness and wanting to be great if he's been uh, having these conversations with Nick Saban every week that he's saying he's been having he's got to clean this up the last two weeks Batad has given up 74 points on defense the last two weeks Alabama has lost It's looked confused. It's not been able to get the calls in fast enough. It has not been communicating effectively. We are not seeing the toughness up front to beat the opposition, to beat the opponent in front of you. We have not seen the pass rush. We have not seen the ability to stop the run. The defense has to be cleaned up. You're already starting to hear from national prognosticators that the defense is the weakness And if the defense does not get its act together, Bama will miss the college football playoff in year one under Kang and DeBoer. This is coming from national media. This is coming from national prognosticators. So number one, for Bama to bounce back, in my final thoughts, this defense under Kane Womack, they've got to clean it up. No ifs, no ands, no buts. The defense has got to be cleaned up starting this week here against South Carolina. Uh, Number two, Bama's got to establish a run game. I understand they like the explosive plays. I get that. But you're going to face teams down the road. They're going to want to milk the clock. They're going to want to own, dominate time of possession, and speed your offense up to where your offense cannot play in the rhythm that it wants to. What did Nick Sheridan say after the loss to Vanderbilt on Monday? He said, we could not achieve the balance. We could not establish the balance we wanted to. Why? You got behind. You got in the hole. You got behind the eight ball. Alabama's got to be able to establish the run. Justice Haynes, Jam Miller, Richard Young, these guys are way too good to not get the ball in their hands to wear down an opposing defensive front. You got to be able to run the football and have discipline with it and and trust it and let it develop. Got to be able to run the football, controlling the pace of the game. That's number two. Number three, And being able to bounce back against South Carolina and move forward. Final thoughts here. Bama's got to be able to sell on third down. Third down defense, third down offense. Both have got to excel. Third down offense, converting, keeping your offense on the field, wearing down the opponent, putting yourself in third and short and or third and manageable offensively. Defensively, Bama's got to clamp opposition on third down. They got to do this. They got to. Against Georgia in the second half, you gave up too much on third down and then even some on fourth down. Against Vanderbilt last week, the Commodores were 12 of 18. They won third down. They're able to keep their offense on the field, which in turn wore your defense down if you're Alabama. Bama third down offense, Bama third down defense. It's got to excel. No if, ands, or buts. Final thoughts here, moving forward in terms of bouncing back against South Carolina and throughout the remainder of the season. That's number three, you know, winning on third down on both sides of the spectrum. Number four, and moving forward, another wide receiver opposite Ryan Williams, behind Ryan Williams has to make its presence felt. You got to have a number two guy. 
consistently, whether it's Jeremy Bernard, whether it's Kobe Prentice, should he play this week, whether it's Kendrick Law, should he play this week, whether it's Emmanuel Henderson, he's been making plays when he's been out there, but a number two guy behind Ryan Williams has to emerge. You got to take some pressure off the freshman. You got to, because there's going to come a point somebody is going to take Ryan out the, out the frame. Somebody is going to do it. So that number two guy has to pop out the frying pan, ready to go. And who is that guy going to be? Is it going to Jeremy Bernard? Is it going to be Kobe Prentice? Is it going to be um, Kendrick Law? Is it going to be Emmanuel Henderson? Somebody has got to be ready to go. Is it going to be one of these tight ends? Somebody's got to be prepared. That's number four. And five, last but not least, in bouncing back here, the energy, the enthusiasm of this team, they got to be ready. They got to have the energy. They got to have the enthusiasm. They've got to be ready to play South Carolina and everybody else on this schedule from here on out. You can't go in there lackadaisical. You can't go in there no energy. You can't go in there taking the opponent for granted. We saw what happened. You took Vanderbilt for granted. You didn't prepare enough. You got your tail whooped. You cannot do this against South Carolina and moving forward because if you do, bye-bye playoff. You ain't going. You got to come in here in this game against South Carolina with your mind focused on business, with the energy right there, with the effort right there, with the enthusiasm right there. Those are my final thoughts. We knew in 17 years what a stern Nick Saban looked like coming off of a loss. He had the next opponent ready to face a buzzsaw. We've heard from players this week, Kang and DeBoer more buckled down. Kang and DeBoer, um, you know, not being all nice, nice this week. But what does that look like? What does that look like? And him trying to bounce back. We'll get it. First and foremost, bird's eye view Saturday against South Carolina in Tuscaloosa. That game at 11 a.m. Central Time. People, check out in my own words. Friday, touch the Alabama magazine. We will be live bringing you in my own words. But this is just yours truly, Stephen Smith. Just my final thoughts on what Bama must do to bounce back against South Carolina and throughout the remainder here of this season.